Welcome to Roll for Crit, and today we have an interesting and sort of, I guess, dark story uh, involving Game of Thrones, but not in the world of Westeros. It actually started for us back when we were prepping our Kickstarter Pickstarters uh, for this past week, and uh, we saw a Kickstarter for the, the Game of Thrones card game, but it wasn't Fantasy Flight. Or uh, Simon, which did do the mini miniatures game. Yes, Daniel Perez is the name of the person who created this game, and it was their Kickstarter account that it was under. And of course, if you don't know, Fantasy Flight Games has the rights to make games based on the Game of Thrones. And uh, despite their claims on the page that they obtained the licensing and that this was all above board, uh, someone uh, tweeted at Fantasy Flight and alerted them about this, and they responded appropriately uh, with a, a gif of Daenerys, <laughs> uh, implying that they were going to take care of things. And they did, and the Kickstarter was suspended. I assume they either reached out to Kickstarter or maybe they reached out to the uh, person directly, but certainly Kickstarter became aware of it and suspended it. And they obviously do not have the legal justification to make this game. They have since then relaunched the game separately on a different crowdfunding platform, Indiegogo. And they also had another Game of Thrones themed game uh, on Kickstarter as well that I think may have been under a different account, but seems like it's the same person and seems like the gameplay is very similar, but like slightly tweaked to make it sound like it was a different game. <laughs> very, very shady stuff. Uh, the game itself just sounded like a kind of basic, I, I would almost call it a very, very dumbed down version of the Game of Thrones card game LCG from Fantasy Flight, where each player has a hand of cards and you're just playing attack and defense with different characters and they have point values essentially, and you, you try to knock out the other player's characters. And the Kickstarter, the campaign page is one of the, one of the worst put together campaigns I've ever seen on Kickstarter. It has some very interesting tiers on it. The game itself goes for $30, but you can uh, pledge increasingly higher amounts of money to get pieces of memorabilia or the game cards themselves signed by cast members of the show or George R.R. R. Martin himself. <laughs> yeah, and this is crazy because you have to consider, I mean, that to, to not have the rights and say you can do this is I would it's very impressive that you think you could pull this off assuming that you would follow through and this isn't just you know you're gonna run with it because you know this is a big deal and Game of Thrones is not like something that is not very well known in the board game area it like it's not something that is no, no one's gonna notice right it's a pretty big property to try to get under the radar what I'm wondering is did this person because so according to their page uh, they said, quote, I have permission by Jeff Peters, the vice president of licensing of HBO, to continue with this project. So what, what I'm wondering is, is that a complete fabrication and this person is a scam artist, albeit a very bad one, or was <laughs> there somewhere along the lines, did they actually talk to someone from HBO and just get the idea that they really did have the rights to make this? I, I could think that maybe that they thought they could raise the money. I mean, this is a little bit of a benefit of the doubt. Raise the money that would pay for the like the license, like get the money to make money, mm -hmm. kind of. On the Indiegogo, it does say, I do not yet own the license of Game of Thrones Kirk. I'm trying to get the funding to borrow the license just as Fantasy Flight Games did. So clearly they, they're, they're trying to readjust their, their plans. <laughs> right, and if if you've seen most companies, they're not usually as people. If something's a money maker, they're not going to just lend it out, <laughs> right? To some random person who decided that they like Game of Thrones, so they should just make a card game. <laughs> Except uh, for us, obviously, for our new Game of Thrones uh, <laughs> card game. 
I'm working on the Westworld LCG, actually. It's very similar to Doomtown Reloaded, <laughs> but it's not quite the same. Uh, all, my other, also, my favorite other part of this campaign is the part where he says, Remember, this is not the only way to play the Game of Thrones card game. You can make up your own rules. These rules are just the actual way to play. We do not recommend coming up with your own rules, but if you want to, you can. <laughs> You know, that's, it's just nice that he gives you the option. I mean, I guess he's trying to say, like, how Magic the Gathering initially had one rule set, but now has, like, Commander, you know, mo like, but if, if, he, you, you don't say that. It comes, it's like, oh, really? I have your permission to, like, am I going to be arrested if you didn't say that, if I make my own rules? Um, so I do not know how strict Indiegogo's a team is about this compared to Kickstarter. I, I don't know. I think that's only been up for maybe a day or so, so they may not have caught wind of it yet, but maybe they just... I mean, this thing's not going to get funded regardless, but... And then it gets really weird, and it's like gets a little bit uh, less funny and a little more sad because people apparently then, uh, you know, in shock of this thing, researched this guy and found some videos on his YouTube channel, and it seems like he is potentially an abusive parent to his kids. And I mean, just in general, it seems uh, that whether he's a scam artist or just misinformed, there is perhaps some kind of mental illness at play with, with this person or something that is really not right. And it's worrisome and sad, but uh, you know, that part of the story is yeah, like outside this of our realm. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's Game of Thrones and somehow cursed, but this went to a much darker place than when we saw. There's there's some dark stuff if you want to dig deep, but if you just look at the Kickstarter page, it's kind of funny. Um, and I, you know, I just I have a lot of questions about this person, but also at the same time, I don't. And I think that, you know, the right thing happened. Fantasy Flight obviously wasn't going to let this happen. I doubt HBO will ever even comment on this because it's, I think, so beneath them. Uh, I mean... It's, it is one of the worst Kickstarter pages that I've seen, and now you cannot see it anymore. But if it's still on Indiegogo as of the time of this recording, that could change, and maybe it'll be relaunched on a whole new platform that I don't know about. <laughs> He's going to find a way, I think. Or, or he'll just start going to local meetups and start pitching it door to door. <laughs> He's, he's going to really do a, a grassroots effort for this one. Uh, if you have thoughts on this, please talk to us in the comments. If you find any of this funny or sad for any reason, we would like to hear about it. And uh, we'll hear from you again later, hopefully, if you're keeping, keeping staying tuned to our channel. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Will. And this was Roll for Crit.